So anyway guys, um, I'm done swimming with the barracudas. Good morning everyone welcome back to my channel again and welcome back here in beautiful of city beautiful city Island. <laughs> and welcome back to the beautiful me <laughs> it's my day of today so we're going to do an adventure I'm going to drive around in the island I'm just going to explore and have a very very um, beautiful road trip today so I'm gonna bring you along with me and let's go because it's getting hot here and I'm getting hot also so oh, but <laughs> We'll see you there and yeah, let's go on the road again. <laughs> stinky boy, Stinky. We'll see you later on. Sleeping Stinky. Looks over there. Hi, Tio. Rainy, we'll see you later. What? <laughs> so I'm here in somewhere in La Rena. I'm going towards um, Villan, uh, Enrique Villanueva. <laughs> Enrique Villanueva and I just dropped by here it's a nice it, it catches my eye so I just stop and then you know just want to see the area because there is like a kind of stream or like going to uh, the ocean <laughs> the beach so and it looks beautiful at the background as you can see so I just up by here i'm just gonna enjoy my time here because you know why not and i have a lot of time today so i'm gonna fly my drone i will try to fly my drone oh my god this is beautiful it's stunning if i could choose be um if i could choose between san juan to live or here i would probably live here if i could afford land and just build my house somewhere right here in the middle you got the you got the mountain you got this very beautiful area here and you get the beach at the other side so look it's beautiful oh my god so it's like a for me it's like a you know hidden place because it's along the road but no one's like you know enjoying here oh my god so i'm going to fly my drone and we'll see how it looks anyway and they said that you can swim here but if it's like low tide there's no water here because this is all from the ocean it's high tide so that's why um they have water here oh out of focus anyway i can still see like the bottom so i you can swim here like you have got the view right there from there or from here you can jump but yeah and they said that you can jump here if there's water it's a little bit shallow but the kids sometimes um jump in this area anyway i just wanna inform you guys in case you wanna see this area
done flying my drone. I almost crushed my drone again. <laughs> but yeah, you didn't. I'm so glad. I'm so happy. And yeah, I'm probably just gonna enjoy a little bit of time here. I'm not sure if it's safe to swim here because no one's swimming. Probably there's a crocodile. I'm scared of crocodile. Anyway, I'm just gonna enjoy the beauty here and take some photos and we'll hit it to road again. We're gonna be in the road again. So I'm gonna take my time. So I'm here at Tulapos. I just arrived here and I'm going to ask how much will be the diving to swim with the um, Barracuda. So that's the famous um, fish here in uh, Tulapos Sanctuary. So we're going to check. It's not bad to drive here. There's a lot of, you know, beautiful places and area to see while, you know, headed here. So I'm happy. Oh, but anyway, let's go. <laughs> guys um, I'm done swimming with the barracudas it's amazing it, it it's like it's unreal when you see the barracudas underwater it's just like you know it's just like a bunch of <laughs> cute like a little kind of scary look but they're so cool and then this swam like you know a school of barracuda of course <laughs> It's amazing. I would highly recommend to visit Tulapos Sanctuary here in Sikihor. I would highly, highly, highly recommend. I would say that 
this is the best um you know like a group of fish that i was um seeing in my entire life the school of barracudas so it's amazing guys it's a, like a you know a lifetime memories i highly recommend so yeah since i'm talking about here to visit here in tolapos to Buj, no tolapos sanctuary here in Vil, enrique villanueva it's opposite side in san juan which is a touristic area this place is amazing absolutely beautiful it's quiet it's just it's everything here if i could buy a piece of land i would probably buy it here and i talked to kuya they said it's cheaper it's way way cheaper in san juan which is of course san juan is now it's been like you know it's been a year to, probably it's like it's been a few years now it like the prices are jacking like it's it's way expensive now but yeah in here opposite tide here in Tol enrique villanueva maria i guess it absolutely absolutely beautiful and way cheaper to buy a piece of land at this time because I don't know if in the future they will build, they will continue building the airport and it's easy access to you know every island every trip of course you can fly easily so I would highly recommend I'm um, here in Villanueva Enrique Villanueva I'm confused with this but Enrique Villanueva Enrique Villanueva Enrique Villanueva and Maria it cheaper 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 so I would highly recommend if you want to invest, if you want to start building your own house, if you want to start building your own businesses. So I would highly recommend here, but um, the low part here is just like the signal. It's barely unreachable and there's a area that you can catch some signal, but it's it's like most of the area here are okay and the signal is not that strong so anyway if you have a wi-fi it would probably okay it would absolutely okay so anyway we'll um turn to you know the prices of doing this scuba here if you don't do a free diving you can come over here and still swim with a barracuda and then i would tell you the prices i just had a picture of the prices so for users fees snorkeling or you know guide i would, I would say um snorkeling fee would be 100 peso guide fee 250 two packs so i'm i'm swimming alone so i guess it's you know i paid for 250 so i don't mind if i'm gonna pay for that as long as i'm you know in control about my diving and then maximum of the snorkeling would be one hour so yeah and then rentals if you don't have a mask or snorkel life vest if you want to rent a life vest fence paddle boat gopro scuba diving then it's add on to your prices i'm just gonna put here at the side um the prices so that's another fees but it's not bad it's not too bad it's not bad i would say it's pretty good it's pretty you know it's worth it to pay this amount of money because of course you'll see a beautiful beautiful barracuda so barracudas um school of barracuda so i would highly suggest if you are coming to sikihor island don't miss dive with the school of barracudas here in tolapos sanctuary which is enrique villanueva so yeah it's 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 beautiful uh driving here because you can see a quite nice area while driving towards here from san juan sikihor larina and uh, larina and Vil, Vil, enrique villanueva so don't go to san juan lasi maria it's a little bit long there's a shortcut also in the mountains so you can google it but yeah it's it's pretty access and as you can see at my back it's it's amazing how clear the water 
you know reflected everything the green the sky the water is just absolutely beautiful so i'll probably visit here again soon and i still want to get the shot of the barracudas because i need to prepare myself and you know just enjoy the the barracudas and also i still want to get a beautiful shot i i have to prepare myself that i have a lot of you know air because i can even just you know go deeper <laughs> as you can see in my video it's just like whoop, whoop. it's just and it's like even not even at two minutes i guess probably one minute so anyway i'm i'm headed to um san juan back to san juan now because i have to take care of some stuff and also have to rest before i'm going to pick up my mom in larena she'll be arrived soon later on so we'll see you but look so i am back now here in my place i'm driving so fast because it's it, it <laughs> it's really hot and i'm so so hungry i haven't eaten my breakfast yet and it's 3 p.m now no breakfast no lunch so i was driving so fast and also it's it like it hurts the the heat right now it's like it really hurt i mean i'm not scared of getting dark or very dark skin getting my skin very very dark but it's just like it, it's like it's killing my skin <laughs> But anyway, I am back now and I'm going to prepare myself, relax a little bit and eat my brunch <laughs> at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, <laughs> almost 4 I guess. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to prepare. After that, I'm going to clean myself and will get my mother in the port of Lorena. So I have to drive again, like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to go there. So I'm excited to see my mom, <laughs> my mother for, and she will be here because of the fiesta in Lassi, which is where my my grandma, where she came from also. So that's why she wanted to, you know, visit here. And also guys, I would also um, like to tell you guys, if you wanna stay in um, Enrique Villanueva or La Rena, which is closer to Enrique Villanueva, <laughs> um there's a few places that you could stay you can google um <laughs> in the uh, google you can google in probably agoda and also in google you can search there and then also i would <laughs> and i would highly recommend probably i'm not really sure i didn't see this place but it's kind of cool outside but yeah this is the <laughs> this is the name of the that one of the places that you could stay in Enrique Villanueva, which is this one, as you can read it. It's a um, beautiful Filipina with a grumpy husband. <laughs> it's beautiful. Anyway, um, yeah. And there's some, there's a lot of places you can explore there. It's quiet and it's just, if you want to get away from this busy area here in San Juan, then I would highly recommend to stay a few days right there just to relax and meditate whatever you want to do probably you want to search some land um yeah it's a good place to start there it's way cheaper to live it's there because there's much establishment um mostly local there so you know if you want to go out and eat some food then there's a local places so it's not expensive it's local food but not much selection options like coffee shop there's no coffee shop there's probably a um, local shop coffee shop but yeah it's not the same but i mean if you want to save and if you want to just like you know enjoy the beauty here in the island without a lot of tourists then yes i would highly recommend Vill enrique Vill villa nueva and then la reina or maria so um don't stay in the center of la reina because Larina is one of the also busy, busy area here. So probably a little bit like neighboring um, villages, um, barangays. So yeah, 
and of course i would like to say thank you so much to all of you guys for always being here in my channel i do really appreciate it and if you want to support my channel you can click the my paypal and patreon in the description below and of course i want to end this vlog because i want to relax and of course i want to pick up my mother later on i'm so excited and of course we'll see you in my next one bye <laughs> i'm excited i'm so happy today i'm so 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 happy it's like the best day of my life like every day is the best day of my life but this is like memorable for me to see barracudas and it's my day off and i'm just like I, it's absolutely amazing so yeah, it's just like a best day of my life today so many things to be thankful of and when i was seeing my mother so yeah! and my mother gonna cook food for me bye anyway